Hey guys, what's going on? If you're watching this, you're probably coming from my Instagram. I might have sent you this video if you were asking about like the mods I had in my car. Uh, there's a lot done, so obviously, like if you asked, it's like a question like that. You know, I'd have to type out like a entire paragraph about what I've done, where I've gone, everything basically. And I get a lot of questions about where I get my stuff, and usually I end up sending links to people. Basically, this video is just going to be pretty much like my wheel specs, stuff like that, clothes, like how I feel about the mods I've done. Cause I've done a lot, I've never done one of these videos. So yeah, I'll give you the mods, stuff like that, break it down for you. But first we're gonna start off by washing my car and then we'll get into it. So I'm not gonna try to make this video too long just because I'm just trying to basically inform you guys on what I have. So I'm not gonna really go over washing it. I'm just gonna wash it first and go over the specs. And here's my car as of now. It's kind of dirty right now. It's rained recently, so I haven't been taking care of it as much. I'm gonna give you guys a cold start, basically run you through my whole exhaust system. So basically my exhaust is uh, pretty much just a uh, straight pipe from the cap back. I have a muffler delete, and uh, I also have a resonator delete. So it, it, it sounds really good. I just preferred to go this route over the, uh, the the M Performance exhaust for the 328. It's way cheaper. The whole setup for me costed around $300, which is really good just the setup I got. I got a really good deal on it. I'm probably gonna get my secondary cats out and uh, just probably run that setup for a while, see how I like it. Cause I'm starting to get used to the sound of this exhaust. It's become a lot more quiet. And uh, I want something that has a little more like kind of an aggressive tone to it. People say it sounds raspy, but I've heard some videos and honestly it, it doesn't make much of a difference. I just hear more uh, louder pops and that's more what I'm looking for. So a lot of people ask why I got the uh, why well, I have a 328 over like a 335. It's just uh, at the time, well, I've had this car for two years now. At the time, 335s were a little more expensive and the maintenance was, was known to be a lot more expensive compared to the 328. So I, I just got the 328. I knew it'd be a lot slower. I just basically, it, it does, that doesn't really matter to me. I'm more of into stance and totally. like 240. <laughs> it's a lot more cheaper to uh, maintain. I've only had like a few things go wrong with this car and you know, a lot of like the N54s have like a reputation of being unreliable. I know now N55s are around the same price ranges as N54s, but at the time an N55 would cost around, I'd say 5,000 more than what I got this car for originally. But it's a, it's a good daily driver. A lot of people tend to look down upon 328s. I mean, they're, they're good. I mean, I have like 100,000 miles in this car so far. I bought it with a, around 76,000. So, you know, I've had very little problems with it. So I just washed the car. So now I'm gonna do some final touches. I'm gonna wax some parts. This car is due for like a wax. I just, I've been too busy. So I haven't really gone to it. And uh, we'll get right into the specs right after. So first things first, my wheels. I have the Apex Arc 8. I have a staggered setup. These are nine, the 19s. As you can see, my fitment on the front isn't such a, so dialed in, but the rears, as you can see, they're pretty good. The fronts are 19 by eight and a half, and the offsets are 20, and the rears are 19 by nine and a half, and the offsets uh, 22. And the tires I have on the rears, 275, 30, uh, 19, and then the fronts are 235, uh, 35, 19 as well. So the uh, the tires I'm running are the Hankook V12 Evo 2s. Uh, pretty good tires. No complaints on them at all. I, I don't even think the tread the tread's barely worn down. And I'm running a little bit of camber on the wheels themselves. I have negative 2.7, so I have a little bit of camber and no wear whatsoever. And they stick like perfectly on the road. They do get a little slippery in the rain. But you know, that's all good. I don't really drive the car too much in the rain. Not aggressively really. I'm on BCBRs, just the regular ones. If I can redo my decision, I'd go the super lows because one of my coils 
sits lower than the other and the, the rears are maxed out but the front side could still go lower on so the rears are maxed out and you can see fitment is pretty flush right here I, I do have some rubbing even with camber i have the fender shaved i just need to go ahead and sand them down a little more what i should have done first is rolled the fenders and then got them trimmed of like how i did and maybe sand down the uh the fender for a little better fitment. The other side does sit a little bit lower. So this side rubs a lot less compared to the other side. So I might have to raise the other side up a little bit. Uh, the ride quality on the BCBRs are, they're really good. Uh, I have no complaints really about them. Uh, smooth ride and they have the camber adjustments on the front, which I said was, uh, it was negative 2.7 all around. Uh, obviously the fronts, I, I don't have any camber plates on the rear. So the, the fronts get a lot more camber. But you know, uh, just depending on the specs you run, it should be pretty good. I mean, if you're not too extreme into like stance, you'll be fine. The headlights are from uh, Amazon. Yeah, the camera can't really pick up. It, it has flickering, but actually in person it's not. But they're from Amazon. They're around 300 bucks. I mean, I mean, these are really good. And like, you don't have to pay a lot of money for them. So that's pretty good. I have carbon mirror caps. These, uh, these are like a fake carbon from Amazon. They're like uh, $50, but uh, they do have like their wear. So I might just get rid of these and go back to my OEM mirror caps and just wrap them. The roof is just black, windows tinted, 5%, 20 ECS uh, spoiler. A lot of people ask me where to get this, but I literally think you just have to Google carbon fiber spoiler. This one should pop up from ECS, like 150 bucks, something around there. Exhaust setup, straight pipe cap back, like I said. Uh, to four inch pipes and this bumper is from a friend. I don't know where it's from. I literally just bought it off them for cheap. It's so interiors, nothing too special. The sports steering wheel that I got off my friend. The trim is just like custom paint splatter that I did. I have like this like suede wrap right here. Same with the side trim as well. And yeah, that's pretty much all for my interior. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, if I missed anything, just let me know. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Timmy90 if you're not coming from Instagram. Uh, please subscribe. Let me know about more content I can give you guys because I really want to put out more videos. Uh, I probably should have put out videos for like every mod I did, but you know. All right, guys. Peace.